So let's talk about the first advanced fundamental, prep beats and cues. One of the things about prep beats and cues is so important is that a lot of conductors show the what or the when to conducting, but they don't show the how in terms of what kind of gesture influences what type of sound they're trying to get. A lot of times we see conductors with their head down, conducting a pattern and pointing and screaming at different sections and not influencing the music, but simply staying alive and surviving on the podium. One of the things that we're gonna talk about with prep beats and cues are the three main points to being able to execute this fundamental. The first one is eye contact, direct eye contact, as if you're having a conversation with the person that you're about to cue. The second thing is setting the beat point. Setting the beat point, setting the plane on a level that's clearly visible to the player, and then preparing that sound is the third key. So eye contact, setting the beat point, and preparation, and the breath are the three important parts of cues. So how can we apply that into sort of an exercise for us to work as conductors? I would encourage you to start with a simple four pattern. And again, we talked about we never want to have any type of pattern without a specific articulation attached. So let's just think about a slash articulation this time. We're going to go with 4-4, four, four, mezzo forte, just so we don't run out of too much space here. So we'll start that pattern. Let's say we want to cue on beat one of a bar. So my eyes have to move to the direction and the instrument that we're looking for way ahead of time. Let's say I'm gonna give one bar and cue on beat one. Here's one example. One, two, three, four, one. What you'll notice is I didn't set my eyes, I didn't set a beat point, I didn't have a breath or a preparation of what I'm doing. So let's try that a different way. Here's getting the eyes there. One, two, three, four. Now my eyes are already in the direction of the instrument that I'm looking to cue. Then I have to somehow get my left hand into play to influence the sound. So at the same time the eyes are moving, the left hand has to come up into the playing field. So the first time we talked about how to use the left hand. And we'll talk about this more later, but keep in mind that the left hand has to organically come into play here before you set that beat point. So again, get the eyes early, bring the hand into place, and by beat four, you have to be ready to breathe and prepare the downbeat. So here it is all put together. Eyes, two, three, one. So there we have eye contact moving ahead, the hand moves into play, we have a breath on four and a preparation on beat one. Notice again, it's not this. One, two, three, four, one. Which is all too late. So keep in mind with prep beats and cues, there's three main points. Setting the eyes, getting there early, getting the left hand into play, setting the beat point, setting the breath point, and then finally breathing and preparing that sound the way that you want it to happen and occur. The last thing I wanna encourage you is how do you get out of that cue and move to something else? So start to like line up cues together. So maybe you set, set up in a place and pick a, a sort of a, a voluntary instruments that you think you could make an exercise for yourself. One of the things I can do is set up to where you have all the way across your body cueing four separate imaginary instruments just simply to work on how to prep beat and how to cue. Here's an instance of this. So we have one, two, three, breathe. One, two, three, breathe. One, two, three, one. There were three separate cues, eye contact, setting the breath point, and then finally breathing and preparing that sound. If you keep those three things intact, I know you'll be more successful in cueing instruments and showing the how of articulation and musicianship and not just the when.